You know, this could be like heaven I am right here, doing my best to make you feel like I do And just for a second, you're looking at me Making me feel like maybe you want this too Give me your attention Just like water You're making me weak now What doesn't kill you makes you Our hands touch once or twice We should let them in our Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video For today's video we're going to be doing a very long awaited Home Bargains haul I feel like it's been absolutely ages since I've been on and shared with you what I've picked up in Home Bargains I had a quick look back through my videos and I think the last one I did was um, end of August or very early September um, so it's been a good good few weeks um, at least over a month anyway so I thought I would share with you what I've picked up in Home Bargains they've got some really really amazing things um, for Christmas I've said the word Christmas um I'm so excited for Christmas this year especially after everything that's been going on this year I'm so excited to get festive I've got my chunky knit on it's cold outside I'm watching the leaves blow in front of the window I'm in my front room today so I'm feeling I'm starting to feel all the autumn and festive feels um so yeah I really hope you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really does help support my channel leave me a comment down below have you been in town bargains have you seen their displays that they have have you picked anything up more importantly let me know down below and let's jump straight into the video so I'm going to split the haul into two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into the pieces in the bag here. I took my reusable bag in. Oh my gosh, that's a lot heavier than I thought. So I've got my big bag. It's not filled. I didn't go crazy. It's not filled. It's just heavy because I've got things like fabric conditioner in there. So I've got my cleaning and just miscellaneous bits. And then I'm going to do the Christmas stuff, um, presents, stocking fillers, that sort of thing separately. So what we'll do, we'll just go through the miscellaneous bits first. Um, so to start with, um, I have used this before, so this isn't the first one I've picked up, but um, I'm absolutely loving the Lenore Rose Wonderland, the Mrs. Hinch um, edition. So if you haven't tried this yet, I highly recommend it. It smells lovely. I've also switched out my um, fabric spray. So what I do is I pop a little bit in a spray bottle and dilute it with water and then I use it for like the sofa and the blankets, things like that. It smells so good and obviously I can't really put stuff out on the line at the moment so the when I get the washing in and swap it over on the clothes error um the kitchen smells amazing every time I walk out so yeah that's my first repurchase so I've had two of these before so loving that one um next up I picked up a all-in-one disinfectant spray so this is by Fabulosa um and this one I have got the it's coming to the end now so I picked up another one but I have used the scent electrify I've also got that in the um liquid disinfectant but this is the unicorn dust one and I had a cheeky smell before but oh, it just smells like this sounds really weird but I feel like it smells like those purple violet sweets you know in the um pack in the little purple circle sweets that you get in the pick and mix bags I feel like it smells like that but in a good way not in a over the top way but yeah I've really been loving that so I've been obviously the usual what that we do with disinfectant just been using it to wipe down the remotes door handles but yeah really really like that I'm loving the Fabulosa brand at the moment what else have we got oh another spray so Fabulosa again <laughs> Um, this is the foam fresher for the carpet, so it's very similar to the 1001 spray. So this is the Pet Fabulosa, so it looks like this. Is it going to focus? There you go. And I picked this up in the scent um, Sage and Vanilla, and it smells amazing. Um, so yeah, I just use this on my stairs and the rug, but this one is pet friendly, and you don't need to vacuum, so it's just as easy as the 1001 so you just hoover spray let it soak in and it does its magic so yeah i've been loving that one um i also picked up a couple of tubes of toothpaste so i've just got the whitening colgate for us and then i'm still getting ollie a separate one because he um 
obviously isn't old enough he's not oh he's not six and over so i do still pick him up the colgate children's one so i've just got one of those for each of us and then i picked the kids up another pack of the rainbow cookies they absolutely love these so i've picked those up for them no doubt when they get home tonight that packet will be no more um i also needed another well a replacement of the pink stuff whitening powder that i pop in with my whites when i do a wash load um this is such a bargain for £2.49 I used to always use I've said in my other videos the um vanished ones and I would obviously always just struggle and wait for it to when it went on offer from like £12 to £8 but I mean £2.49 but this is an absolute bargain and it's amazing I use the one um just in the pink pot for um my other washing I'm gonna put the cookies back in the bag because Ronnie you can't have these Ronnie you can't have them. He's sniffing around as though it's a treat for him. There's nothing in here today for you, my boy. Okay, next up, I've just picked up a duo pack of the Domestus um, rim blocks. So nothing exciting, just to go in the toilet. But I've really been um, loving this one. It's the pink magnolia scent. Um, so yeah, nothing much to say other than I just love them. I've also picked up a, it's a floor, so it's one of the limited edition ones that I've been, that I've seen doing the rounds on Instagram. This is the White Blossoms one, looks a little bit like that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this. I did buy the big um, Peony Blossom, I think it's Peony Blossom, it's Peony something, I'm sure it's Peony Blossom, but that smells lovely, so I've got, currently got that in my spray bottle at the moment in the kitchen, but yeah, can't wait to give that one a try. Um, and then I have, I managed to get hold of the pumpkin scrub daddy. Um, I actually needed one because we lifted our rug up in the front room and um, under the rug I'd stuck it down with this rug adhesive that was an absolute nightmare. So I won't be making that mistake again and I had my two scrub daddies that I had just, they were no more after scrubbing the floor. So I needed a new one and I thought how adorable is that? So I picked up the pumpkin scrub daddy to join the nightingale household and then i saw this in there um what is this so it's the miracle cleaning kit um by the pink stuff um star drops is the brand sorry not pink stuff and it comes with two pink stuffs a brilliant scourer and a microfiber pad so I'm excited to try that. I absolutely love the pink stuff. And I want to actually, now we're going into winter, we've been clearing out the garden a little bit and I want to just give the um, the doors a bit of a wipe over in the garden and the windowsills, things like that. And this is absolutely amazing on the PVC. So yeah, I just thought I picked that up. I think this was 3 99 so amazing. Amazing value, really. And then last up in my little bag of goodies, I picked myself up a diary. So I am so please tell me I'm not the only one I get so excited to get myself a new diary and on my diary currently for this year it's one that I picked up from um home since last year and it says 2020 the best year ever I said to Tom my husband I said uh that's a statement 2020 the best year ever so anyway I picked myself up a new one for 2021 I think this was pound or one pound 29 so a lot cheaper than my home sense ones that I buy um and I like the I'm really particular with my diaries I like to have the the week view so like obviously Monday to Sunday and then we'll split down because I just keep track of our bills um see things that we have coming up and I just I'm a bit old school I know I've got my phone but I like to write stuff down so yeah I can't wait to crack into that and start making my plans for 2021 so that's it in my bag so now we're going to move on to the Christmas portion of the video um so apologies if some people feel this is too early I just like to be organized with buying things for like the stocking presents things like that and if I see anything decor wise I don't need a lot because I, we do have a lot in the loft um for decoration so I just pick up the odd bits if I see it and obviously home bargains is so inexpensive so I mean I don't mind picking up a few bits from there so to start with I've actually got two of these and it's a Christmas Eve box and I am so in love with it and so happy with the quality this was 6.99 as i said i've got two of them so it's wooden um that's what it looks like on the front so just a box and then you open the lid 
and it's a Christmas Eve box. So obviously you just put your little goodies inside. It's not terribly huge. So obviously I didn't want a huge box. So I don't want to go overboard on Christmas Eve. I just popped like a little glass bottle for them to leave out for Santa, some reindeer dust normally, and just a little chocolate and maybe a new pair of pajamas, just something small for Christmas Eve. It's got the um, kind of like chalk pad here that you can write their names on. Um, it says Merry Christmas, delivered by the 24th of December. Uh, and it's got a little switch here, so it actually lights up. So I haven't got batteries in this one yet, but I've got it in. So let me just switch the boxes over. So yeah, so that's what it looks like. And then if I pop it on, there you go, it lights up. But 6 99 how lovely is that? So I saw them and I just picked them straight up. So that's one for Darcy and one for Ollie. Um, next up, I also saw, oh, if I can lift it, they had, I might need to sit back to show you all this. So this was one of those purchases. I was stood there. I must have looked so weird in the shop because I was just stood there looking at this big tube of Play-Doh and I'm thinking, do I, don't I, do I, don't I? And I was like, no, I have to. There was only three left, so I, I had to just pick it up. Yes, yeah, so I had to just pick it up. So it's called, on the back, it's the Mega Meter. Um, so you get 16 pots of Play-Doh. Let me show you the back. There you go. So 16 pots, and then on the front it has, obviously, all the colours there. And this was 9 99 um, And usually I get Ollie. Darcy doesn't play with it um, really anymore. I mean, if it's out, she'll have a little play, but she's not something she would just go to. Um, but usually what I do is I just pop a couple normally of the small ones that you can buy for like a pound in Ollie's stocking. But I thought, that's an absolute bargain for 16 9 99 So, yeah, if you've got little ones that like Play-Doh... Um, definitely head down to home bargains i've not seen this anywhere else in any of the supermarkets i mean other places might have it but i've not seen it anywhere else so i thought i would just grab it and there were, as i said there was only three left so um it looked like it was on a full shelf so it's obviously quite a popular thing um next up i picked up this is random this is for tom's stocking so he really likes the um l'oreal men expert uh shower gel and deodorant so I just saw they had this in a gift pack and I think this was one ninety nine, which is really, really good value because the shower gel alone in places like Boots is £4. So yeah, they've got a whole section, um, I think pretty much all the home bargains around by me, um, I'm based in Bristol, they've all got their Christmas um, aisles ready now, so like with the stocking fillers, the presents, the toys and then all the Christmas decor. So yeah, they've got a really fab range of um, things like this which I kind of pick up for stocking stuffers. Um, on the same note, I picked this up for Darcy, um, it's in like a little unicorn box and it's a Nivea kind of like chapstick trio um, and she absolutely loves these and obviously we're in the colder months here so they get chapped lips but she always gets excited about things like this so yeah I picked this up and I think this was 169 so again that's a, that's a bargain for three of them um, and I just thought the box was really cute so she'll love that. And then, I think I'm on to my last items. I saw these on Mrs. Hinch's Instagram story. And I thought, do you know, I actually need those. And I went in and initially I couldn't see them. But they were actually tucked. Um, when you just go into the door of the Home Bargains Room, it's probably the same in all of them. You have kind of like the little baskets that run up the side um, just as you go in the shop. And they were in there. Um, I think they are in the Christmas aisle as well, but they didn't have any on the shelf. So they were down by the door. So if you can't see these in the Christmas aisle, double check down by the door. But they're just tree decorations. Um, I got four of them. And it's in the style of an ice skate boot. So it's kind of got like the flock on the blade. The camera's not going to do it justice. If I move my face out of the way, it may... There you go. So it's got the flock on the blade. It's got the faux fur around the top there and the little poms as laces um, and it's kind of like silver the cracked look on them and they're 99 pence so I got four of them for our tree because my tree color is um white and silver so yeah I mean how adorable are they for 99 pence you really can't go wrong and they did have some lovely tree decorations they're not glass either so obviously if you drop them they're not going to smash or anything like that so yeah I absolutely loved those and I'm glad I got myself some so that's going to be it for my video today everybody i really hope you enjoyed my home bargains haul as i said it has been a while since i've had one on my channel well a while for me anyway i do love home bargains having said that i've been really really loving b and m 
So what I am planning on doing, I've got quite a few pieces um, for Darcy in there for stocking fillers and I've got a few bits for Ollie but mainly Darcy. So I'm planning on getting that all together. I've currently got things dotted around my house at the moment in little hiding places for Christmas. So I'm planning on getting all of that together and then I want to get a video out quite quickly with that. So if you see anything um, that you like that you might want to purchase, obviously it gives you enough time to go to the shops um, and have a look around. I feel like all these places like Home Bargains, B&M, Pangland, their Christmas, they've really upped their game this year and I'm so impressed, so impressed. Especially, my favourite thing I think are these Christmas Eve boxes. I mean, for 6 pounds I'm sorry, you cannot go wrong with that. And it's, I really like the traditional kind of like wood, old school sort of vibe for Christmas. So I love that. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already to my channel. I really, really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody. You know, this could be like heaven. I am right here doing my best to make you feel like I do. And just for a second.